President Ekufado just finished cutting the sword at a 400-bed maternity and gynecology facility at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital. Speaking at an ongoing ceremony to break grounds for the project, President Ekufado said um, government will complete the construction of 11 health facilities across the country before the end of 2020. He says the projects are part of government's efforts to bridge the gaps in healthcare service delivery in Ghana. It is good to be back here again at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital and I'm happy to cut the sword for the construction and equipment of two major facilities, namely a 12-story, 400-bed maternity and gynecological center and a two-story, 101-bed urology and nephrology center. The commencement, the commencement of work on these two projects, in addition to the reactivation of construction work on the abandoned 750 bed maternity and children's block at the Konfuanoche Teaching Hospital in Kumasi, will significantly reduce maternal and neonatal mortality rates in our country. There are also further testimony to the commitment of government to improve our country's health care infrastructure and move us steadily towards the goal of achieving universal health coverage for all. Kolibu, over its 97 years of existence, has served as a center of excellence in teaching research and the provision of high-level specialized health care services to Ghanaians and to persons from beyond our shores. This hospital, which is the third largest in sub-Saharan Africa and the leading referral center in the country, is challenged with inadequate infrastructure, equipment, and cutting edge technology to enable it to respond adequately to the ever increasing demand for its specialist services. Indeed, on my recent visit to Kolebu, when I commissioned the intensive care unit of the National Reconstructive Plastic Surgery and Burn Center for the hospital, I was struck by the poor state of the maternity block. I promise to help remedy the situation as the current state of the building is not fit for purpose. 